What's going on, everybody? I'm the Goods on YouTube. You can add me on Twitter at TG So Good. Today, what we're gonna look at is uh, like the player looking a little too glossy. Uh, who is it? Petty Paul Pierce. He's doing Obi topping. He did a texture and he says, "Who can tell me how to remove the gloss from his face?" All right. So what we're gonna do is go in and edit the alpha layer channel of the texture a lot of you guys will not know what that means if you're just starting off don't worry about it don't even worry about it okay so i don't actually i only have the face file the face texture I only have the facial texture i don't have the actual head shape he didn't send me the head shape so i just have to apply it to this to see what it looks like in game Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean this up to where the hairline actually looks like hair. Yeah. All right. So let's take a look at his file. So we pull up 7-Zip and uh, he has a face.if file. He ha His is called face7544.if. So I open that up inside of 7-Zip. If you don't know what 7-Zip is... Um, I'm kind of going through this stuff a little quicker because I've covered some of this stuff in past videos You guys might want to go over to my channel and just look through my channel um, My past videos where I've done tutorials on facial textures So what I'm gonna I'm, what I'm looking for is this file here called face underscore color And that's what I want. So I'm gonna drag it to my desktop, which I already have it on my desktop. So I'm going to open up Photoshop and then drag the face underscore color dot DDS into Photoshop. Now you have to have a certain plugin to open this up, but most of the Cyberface makers already have that plugin. Again, I've covered how to install that plugin and uh, not how to install it, but I've covered which plugin it is and stuff like that in previous videos. So I'm not going to go over that here, but I am going to click load transparency is alpha channel. Okay, and then everything comes up correctly. All right, so what I want to do now is what do I want to do? Okay, I want to go over to channels and then alpha. So I'm on the alpha channel. Now, when I select both the alpha channel and the RB, uh, RGB channels, you'll see a layer of red. So basically in game, that, that red layer will not have the same lighting as the skin. It'll have the lighting that's applied to hair. And then everything that's not red will have the lighting that's applied to skin. So this is why we get a weird glossy looking hairline in the front in the game I'll pull it back up and show you so you can kind of tell like right in here it goes from looking like hair to looking like a painted on tattoo so we're going to try to get rid of that right now so I'm going to uh, uh, just I'm going away from this RGB channel and I just want to select the alpha channel down here alright so what I'm going to do is press control A and then I'm going, I have white as my background color over here. So I'm going to press delete. It's going to use the background color. Should turn everything white, which it does. Great. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here where I have red because that's the lightest of all of these. So I'm just going to click on red. Press control A, then control C. And then I'm going to copy that down here to my alpha channel right there. Now I'm going to have to do some tweaking because I really don't want all this skin showing. The skin should be white in the alpha channel or not almost. It should be almost white. All of the skin should be almost white. So what we're going to do is just kind of play around with some different things. First, let's start with contrast. I'll start with contrast. Let's, and then bring up the brightness some. All right, that's still not gonna be good enough. So what I'm gonna do is some of these areas I need to lighten up. So I'm coming over here, I'm looking for lighten or dodge, the dodge tool. 
and I've got to get an appropriate brush all right this should work and I'm going to lighten up the mid-tones going to change my exposure bring it up high so this Stodge tool is actually lighting lightening lightening some of these uh, skin areas the only areas that we want to be dark are like the um, the hair and and maybe like the inner ear like even the nostrils don't necessarily need to be dark don't need to be all that dark but this dodge tool is only going to capture the mid tones right now because up here I only have mid tone selected Just trying to get the areas that are not here. Like the lips especially don't need to be like that. Come on. Alright, so now it's time to hit this neck and ears. Because we want the light, uh, the light in game reflecting off of these areas that I'm kind of turning uh, to a lighter shade of white we want the light in game to uh reflect off of these areas like it's skin because it is skin so we want it to look like skin and we don't want it to look blotchy and then for the areas with hair we want them to be darker in this texture or this part of the texture so that they'll look like hair in game and not a painted on tattoo and all right so uh now i'm going to i'm actually going to get the paintbrush and use the color white go over these lips because we need that to be lighter Okay, go over these dark areas. All right, it doesn't have to be 100% white. You can make it just a tad darker if you want. Nostrils. All right, so. For the most part, we've gotten what we want. I'm gonna go back to the dodge tool. For the most part, it looks, you know, just about how we want it. So now I'm just, I'm gonna go back up to, uh, let's see. I'm gonna go back up here to adjustment, play with the brightness, make it a little lighter and the contrast a little higher so brightness and contrast a little higher all right i'm gonna leave it like that so now let's click on the rgb layer all right and as you can see uh, maybe it needs more contrast Alright, so all the dark red areas will look like here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna save this. I can I, I don't have to have the alpha layers visible anymore. I'm just gonna save it like this and but before I save it I need to know what to save it as. So let me just double check real quick. Sorry guys. Wish this video was shorter. Uh says Oh, oh, it's saved very weird. That's why. 32 bit. Why do they save it like this? I mean, okay. I'm not going to save it like that. I'm going to save it as just a regular DDS. This one right here. There's two different type of DDS files. One is 
uh, NVIDIA DDS and one is Intel, I think. What's, what's, what's the other? So yeah, this one is Intel. I'm just going to use this one right here. That's the NVIDIA DDS. All right, going to save that. Press OK. Let me see. How many MIP maps was it? Okay, it's 12 MIP maps. So I'm going to set this to 12. Change this to DXT5. It says interpolated alpha, which we do have an alpha layer. So save. And then right now it's such a big file. That's why it's taking a while to save. But while we do that, I want to open up right here where it says face underscore color underscore o dot txtr. I'm going to open that up. See, you can you can delete. I'm going to let me open this up in Notepad plus plus because that's a better program to open it up in. Okay, so this face color dot txtr dragging it to my desktop. And then I'm going to drag it over here to Notepad plus plus. I'm going to get rid of this line right here where it says format b7u norm i'm getting rid of that all right then right here where it says mips 11 well i just saved it as 12 mip maps so i'm gonna get rid of that so it doesn't matter even this stuff right here where it says height and width i'm getting rid of all of that because that stuff isn't actually needed so we'll start there Okay, and usually what I do is I'll change the file name right here so that um, so that the texture doesn't get mixed up with one of the game's original textures from a non-modded file, and then it looks weird in game when it's trying to read two different textures with the same name. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add three P's to the very end of this for Petty Paul Pierce, P, P, P. I'm going to save it. All right, now I can close it. Close this. All right, so now this file, this .txtr file is on my desktop, which is right here. So I'm dragging it back inside of this .if file. Click yes. And then I need to find the facial texture file, the actual texture file, the .dds file. It's somewhere on my desktop. Here it is. The face color, blah, 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 .dds. Well, I need to rename it because in, the, in this file, I just changed the name of it. So press F2. I'm going to rename it put the three P's at the end like I just did on the other file and drag it inside of here click yes I may have lost some of you here uh, this is the original texture file I can delete that because I have the one that I want right here so again I'll double click this to open it this dot txtr file you can see this is the name of the file that it's going to call, which is right here. And remember, I added these three P's, so I added them there. Okay. All right, so this is the .if file. And now I'm going to back up and try to well, see if I can drag this over to my Wake Google folder. Uh... Hold on one second. Let me open up a. Let me go directly to it. Downloads. Here it is. Okay. So I'm drag this over to my way Google folder. Copy and replace. Go back in game. All right. So I'm going to back out of this guy. So again, you see that hairline looks weird, kind of like it's painted on. Let's back out. Remove changes. Let's go to somebody. Uh, let's just go to another team, look at one of their players, and then go back. All right, let's go back because that gives the game a chance to refresh the the files. Yep, 
we don't have that painted on look anymore the skin looks like skin but the hair is not glossy at all there's some shine on the skin but not on the hair Okay, 